Cowboys will do battle with the Denver Broncos. Greg Zerline's got it teed up, and off we go from Arlington. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. On first and ten, Bridgewater. And incomplete to open things up. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Bridgewater to fan, first down Broncos. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Bridgewater now. Room to run past midfield. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Bridgewater. This is the tight end fan. And he's going to have it up as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 18. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing Bridgewater. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Broncos! Tim Patrick, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it ends with a Denver touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. On play action, Prescott, they'll roll him out right. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Second down at seven. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Now Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And finally out of bounds, just inside the 10. 63 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Now Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Zerline good with a PAT. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 
So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got to a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> pressure. We'll I see, love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. Following the penalty, here's Gordon. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Outright, this one goes to Patrick. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. On fourth down, Sam Martin is on to punt for the Broncos. C.D. Lamb deep for the Cowboys. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And he is caught by Lamb. But he is out of bounds inside the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory. Down at the 33. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott on the move to his left. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A give to Elliott. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. The last run got six, now second and four. The give is to Elliott. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. On second and goal, Prescott. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass, and the Cowboys have taken the lead. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to So the drive there took six plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Well, the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. On right, second down, Gordon wants more. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. 
I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Bridgewater now for Gordon on the draw. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That good for 22 and a first down. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. First down, Bridgewater. That's out to the flat for Gordon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It'll be a gain of six, and it's a second down. They'll give it to Gordon out of the shotgun. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Williams will score. Touchdown, Broncos. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. McManus's point after is good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. And he'll be out right at the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Prescott. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. A gain of six there on first. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. 99 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 
Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. And Spencer will elect to not bring it out here. It's a touchback. He'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Defense was expecting run, and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Play fake, Bridgewater. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Micah Parsons, the rookie out of Penn State, in to drop him for the sack. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both these offenses having their way so far, so maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely, and that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Sets up the screen to Gordon. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. He'll give up six yards there on the loss, and it'll bring up fourth down. McManus able to put it through, and that'll bring him back within four. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. Big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half, and everything that they've tried has worked. And there's another example right there. The first down carry by Elliott. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 131 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On 
On second and a couple. Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. They will start at the 25 as Spencer elects not to return this. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. And that drop will cause a little bit of angst for the play caller because you know they've worked all week game planning and flexing the tight end out and making him a matchup issue for the defense. They had what they wanted, and he drops the ball. Man, just couldn't hang on to the slam. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. To throw, Bridgewater. Dances by him. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. And again, it's Bridgewater. Open man, and again, it's Sutton. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that touchdown! Noah Fan from 19 yards away. And the Broncos get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. They've sort of epitomized balance. I mean, he's thrown the ball pretty well. They've run the ball well. Got to be pretty happy over on that sideline. Takes a lot of pressure off, doesn't it? As much as those guys back there want to throw the ball around and be the focal point, when you're able to run it well, and hold the defense back from their pass rush. It allows you to throw it as well as we're seeing so far in this game. Yeah, now they'll be looking to add to their lead here in the second quarter. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. Prescott. He'll get this to Elliott. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Prescott to throw it. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. 
Final play of the half. Prescott flush to his right. And he wisely will throw that one away. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 157 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Play action now, Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Three yards the gain there, second down. Now Prescott. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up Ford. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never... Gordon loses the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. Well, just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line. And that one quickly went from a big play for the offense, I thought he may go the distance, to a big play for the defense. And how about the emotions for the defense on that play? It broke big. It was going to be an absolute disaster for them. And it turns out they end up with the football. I don't know that they're exactly celebrating. Definitely plenty of relief, though. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. to throw is Prescott. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Zerline good with a PAT. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And Spencer will elect to not bring it out here. It's a touchback. And Denver getting set to take the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. 
He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. They will start at the 25 as Spencer elects not to return this. And we get another look now at this Broncos offense. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. <laughs> that one going for a gain of 11, and a Bronco first down. Off the play fake, Bridgewater. That's complete, Okue Buna. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. A first down throw for Bridgewater. He finds his man, complete. It's Beck. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. Now a handoff. This is Gordon going left. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Bridgewater to Sutton, first down Denver. And movement by one of the Broncos up front, and in comes the flag. Garrett Bowles, second team All-Pro last year, guilty there. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. Play action now, Bridgewater. Eluding the pressure right. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. Second and two. Now a handoff. This is Gordon. Yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Bridgewater. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Bridgewater. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. Too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. Prescott on first down. Open man right side, it's Lamb. 
And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Prescott now. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 12 more yards there and another first down. Prescott from the gun. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And he'll get this back across the midfield, striping down to the 47-yard line. They're still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. On second down, Gordon once more. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Third and short yardage, Bridgewater. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Looking to throw again on second down. Bridgewater finding his big receiver, Patrick, over the middle. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there of 20 yards. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. Javante Williams. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Broncos have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This is Tony Pollard. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they, th if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Prescott looks to throw on first. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Cooper. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Prescott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. This is Hallia. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. A drive that time of six plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Bridgewater on first down. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing is Bridgewater. He'll get this one to Patrick. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. To throw is Bridgewater. Got a man open, it's Sutton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 more yards there and another first down. On the delayed handoff, this is Gordon. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 10 more there and another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. On first and 10, Bridgewater. He's got his big tight end, Fant. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. From the gun, Bridgewater, flushed out right. Now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he will bring this all the way back out to midfield. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. tackled inside the 40 not quite to the 35 14 yards good for a cowboy first down I have to chuckle to myself a little bit brandon because right now i could be in that huddle with that offensive line i know exactly what they're saying if you call a pass play here we're going to call a timeout run the football <laughs> we've got control of this thing get in behind us and let's go their time to shine they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. To throw on second and six, Prescott. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. 
Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. On second down, Elliott once more. And all the way down inside the five to the four. I know we're there of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. And he is gonna go down, back at the 11-yard line. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win, it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all gonna work. That's called being in the zone.